Good morning, friends. So today we are going to read a book about rain. We have a short video about weather um, that will go along with it and a science experiment. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, since it's raining outside, we figured we would talk about the rain. This is by Erin Edison. She did our lightning book too. So the same, same series. This book also has a table of contents to tell us what topic is on what page. All right. What is rain? Rain is water that falls from clouds. It helps plants grow and it makes puddles. We all love to jump in puddles. Rain brings water to living things. Rain falls, or sorry, rain fills lakes where fish live. Plants use water to grow. Look at that giant cloud of rain. The water cycle. Rain starts as water on the ground. Water in lakes and oceans evaporate. Oh, that's a big word, guys. What do you think evaporate means? Water vapors rise into the sky. So evaporate means that the water is rising into the air. In the air, water vapors cool, it turns into liquid droplets. That is called condensation. That's another big word, guys. Droplets stick to tiny particles in the air, and then clouds form. Droplets in the clouds grow and become heavier than the air. Rain falls. This process is called precipitation. Lots of big words in this book. Evaporation, condensation, and precipitation are the water cycle's three parts. The water evaporates, makes the clouds, and then it falls to the ground. This pattern happens again and again. Floods and droughts. When too much water falls, the water covers, covers places that it normally doesn't. This is called a flood. Floods damage roads, crops, and buildings. Droughts happen when there's too little rain. Rivers and lakes dry up and soil becomes hard. Plants and animals die without water. Too much or too little rain can hurt living things. Animals, people, and plants need just enough rain. the end. I hope you guys liked hearing about the water cycle and rain and look for those videos to come. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.